Hey there, thanks for joining for this quick video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to compare salary offers uh, when the location of the job is actually different. Uh, so we know that comparing a salary offer uh, in the same geographic area is, is pretty simple because there's generally a pretty similar cost of living and things uh, on average cost about the same. And so that's not really something that we have to take into our calculations. Uh, but if we're comparing job offers in different cities, uh, then it becomes really difficult to compare those numerical salary offers uh, because what $50,000 will buy you in one city is not necessarily the equivalent of $50,000 in another. Uh, luckily, we can use some basic math uh, to help us make a better decision or at least uh, help us prepare us to make a more informed decision. Uh, so we have a question listed in the description or the video description below. Feel free and read through that. I'm going to read it aloud as well. Uh, that question is, uh, when comparing the buying power of a salary offer of $50,000 in Boston with a $53,000 offer in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles salary offer could buy blank of goods and services in Boston, assuming the index was 128.6 for Boston and 113.7 for Los Angeles. Okay, so there's a lot going on in this question, but we're gonna break it down very simply um, so it makes a little bit more sense. So the first thing we wanna do is identify what do we know, and then of course use that to calculate what we don't know. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna determine our salary offers. And so we're gonna put Boston in this column here, and then we're gonna write LA for Los Angeles in this column here. And within those columns, we're going to go ahead and we're going to write down what we actually know at this point. Uh, so we know that our salary in Boston right now we're offering is $50,000. In Los Angeles, though, we're being offered $53,000. So if you were to uh, make the decision just based on that alone, then you would say, well, the LA offer is much better. But there are obviously more things that we have to consider. Um, so we have to consider obviously CPI or the rate of inflation um, or the, I'm sorry, the cost of living index. So how expensive is it is, is it to live there? So for Boston, the index is 128.6. In Los Angeles, the index is 113.7. And so you can already see that Boston is a more expensive city to live in, uh, yet we're getting $50,000. In LA, relative to Boston is less expensive and we're actually getting paid more. So you can kind of see where this calculation is headed, right? Um, but we still want to calculate what the equivalent worth is in dollars to give us just a better basis for making decisions. So how we're going to calculate this is we're going to use the information we have here. And I'm going to change my pen color and we're going to start with the salary for Los Angeles because that's the salary that we're actually using. So we have $53,000 that we are potentially going to get from this job in Los Angeles. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply that salary by our indexes. So we need to put the Boston index up top because that is what we're trying to uh, determine what the equivalent value is uh, in terms of spending in Boston. If we put the LA one first, it's going to change our calculations. And then we're going to divide the uh, cost of living index for Boston by the cost of living index for Los Angeles. Now, if you were to do this calculation here, you would get something along the lines of 1.13, uh, 10466, and then a bunch of other numbers. Uh, those numbers are really important. I would never round in this case because that's going to affect the final number. And so use every single last digit that's included. Now, this is important. And I just want to highlight something real quick here uh, is that from this particular figure, uh, we can actually infer that it is actually 13% more expensive uh, to live in Boston versus LA just by dividing those two numbers. And that is from this number right here, factoring out the first digit. Um, so we know that our money uh, relative to Boston will actually go a lot further because we're going to be able to buy more with this Los Angeles salary simply due to the fact that the index is actually lower. Um, so really, what is this $53,000 worth? Well, if you do the calculations and continue forward, 
and you multiply that 1.13 along with those other digits by the $53,000, what you're going to find is that the resulting value is approximately $59,945. Now, this is significant for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, we know it's a lot higher, which is great. Um, the second thing, though, is that we're compl- comparing this uh, to for apples to apples, so to speak. So in reality, this $53,000 would actually be the equivalent of $49,945 if we were to move in Boston. So if we were paid the equivalent value in Boston based upon the cost of living, this is how much we'd be paid. And so now we can make a much better comparison because we're comparing our salary offer in Boston to what our LA salary is if we were to be paid the same in Boston. And so you can see that just based on this comparison, the LA offer is much, much better from a dollar standpoint. Now, of course, there are many more things to consider. You know, do you even like LA? Do you like traffic? If not, maybe not. Uh, But from a numerical standpoint, from a financial standpoint, uh, this would be a much better offer.